we partnered with Driver Services to kind of revamp and add some modules to the ANVA training. Um, so we added some Tennessee specific information, we added some customer service information, um, and we added um, just some visual stuff to the slides just to make it some more interesting, more engaging for the employees. Um, we really just wanted it to be more impactful for them and just much more fun overall. They didn't have any, anybody certified in with, with the national uh, licensure, uh, including the people that were supposed to train people to get certified. I usually write a pretty structured proposal for the students because it's their first year. But I really just said, I'm going to propose that we do the needs analysis and then we'll, we'll write a proposal for the actual training and the students did that. So they got more experience than a lot of classes do and they just handled it really well. Some of the challenge for us, especially our group and the people we worked with on our team, is we are all very ambitious individuals and so one of our biggest challenges, especially at the beginning, was really limiting ourselves down. Um, there were so many ideas that we had that were all great ideas that we wanted to work with driver services to improve the AMPA training. So we created different presentation modules along with um, activities to showcase you know, customer service. And then I was able to help with creating job aids for employees so that they could have um, information that they could use on the job. So for instance, if a customer comes in trying to get a real ID, um, the employee is able to know what type of information that is necessary. Once we began this training, I myself was a little unsure about what it would entail, um, but since we got several months into this training and uh, I become a certified instructor, I believe it's a great opportunity for the department and examiners and managers alike um, because it's a great asset due to the fact it's going to help synchronize the operation of driver service centers across the state. I was actually excited because I'm all about learning something new. I'm one of those people, when people come in and they ask us all these questions, I like to be able to give you the real answer and be like, yeah, you can go check this out at this website or look up this TCA code. I'm one of those people. I would say it's improved um, not only my performance, but my staff's performance because it gives a good sense of like why we do the things we do. The IDEC program in certification is empowering. Um, it instills and reminds our staff members of how important they are and gives them a sense of professionalism and reminds them of that professionalism and that this is a career. It was very informative. It was like learning something new. It was, it was very enjoyable, you know, learning more about how to do my job better. It was a huge ask. Um, and then in the middle of many of the other things that we have going on in a graduate program. So to be able to take on the magnitude of the project felt great. And then to have it be so well received was even more rewarding. Because it was a big project that we all were able to tackle and also figure out how to work together as a team while doing that. So during the project, it was kind of maybe a little bit stressful and a little bit of a struggle for us internally. but. We pushed out a really great project and it's really good to know that it's had an impact on so many people's jobs. I love doing projects for uh, local and state government because I live here. And if anything we can do to make the state better and the students get experience at the same time, it's a win-win. Be able to help the state uh, give better customer service is, is um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a good feeling. I know that uh, people, people may never know how we've improved their lives because of the, the lack of problems that they might have.